Hi, I'm Benjamin and this is another episode about the basics of using Relearn. In the last episode I told you there are three basic ways of using Relearn and we have talked about the first one, creating mappings ad hoc. In this episode I will show you the second and third way. Before that let's take a short detour to another core concept of Relearn, compartments. Mappings in Relearn can go either into the main compartment or the controller compartment. They are two separate and independent lists of mappings. An important rule of thumb right at the beginning, if you are not sure where to put your mappings, always put them into the main compartment. Don't put them into the controller compartment. The controller compartment has a very specific purpose and so far we didn't even need it. You can do things in Relearn without ever touching it. But of course it exists for a reason and we will learn about it in detail in one of the next episodes. Today all you need to know is that the controller compartment is very useful for creating reusable main presets. Its primary purpose is to describe the structure and elements of your controller without actually defining what they do. Defining what they do is a job of the main compartment. The only way we will interact with the controller compartment today is by choosing a controller preset. Which brings us to the next topic. Presets. The second basic way of working with Relearn is to use ready-made main presets. I think many of you are interested in a setup that just works out of the box and can be used as a starting point for further customization. I will demonstrate it using a control surface. The icon Platform M+. It has a typical Mackie inspired layout of multiple channels that represent tracks. Each one has a fader, solo button, mute button and all that stuff. Let's get the one time setup out of the way first. Options, Preferences, Enable the MIDI input device and the MIDI output device. Don't forget to check do not send reset messages. Then choose the control surface as input and output. Now it's time to find some presets. Important, we are in the main compartment. Again, the main compartment is a place where we define what the faders, knobs and buttons of our controller actually do. So let's have a look into the main preset list. Surprise, there's nothing. The minimum relearn installation doesn't include any presets because it would clutter the list with stuff that you maybe never need. But it's super easy with Repack to install new presets. Go to Extensions, Repack, Browse Packages. Type Relearn. You should see the list of presets here. We are interested in main presets. Turns out there's only one main preset so far. It's called door control and as the name says it is a preset for controlling your door. Track volume, pen, transport controls, all of that stuff. Sounds good. Let's mark this preset for installation. But wait a second, this is not everything. Not every main preset can work with every controller, right? They somehow need to match, of course. In our case, this main preset sounds like a perfect match for our control surface. And it is. But how do we know that? Well, see the door tag within the brackets? This is a hint that this preset works nicely with door controllers. And it is also a hint that you need to use that main preset together with a controller preset that has a door tag too. So let's find a suitable controller preset. Type DAW. We have two matching controller presets. Mackie Control and Icon Platform M+. Which one should we choose? Choosing Icon Platform M+, is a good choice in our case. But if you cannot find a ready-made controller preset for your device and you know it supports the Mackie Control standard, then the Mackie Control controller preset is always a safe choice. In general, if you have a controller device and you are not sure how it works together with Relearn and how to set it up, 
it's always a good idea to have a look into the list of tested controllers. You can reach it by right-clicking the header panel of Relearn, choose Help and click on List of controllers. There you can find a list of all controllers tested so far. Tested either by myself or by the community. Let's look up Icon Platform M+. Here it is. It describes in detail how to set up the controller and which controller presets are usable with it. Back in Repack, let's just install both presets. They don't take up much space. Next, we want to load the controller preset. It's still not visible because we didn't restart relearn, but we can make it aware of the new presets by right-clicking the header panel and choosing Reload all presets from disk. There it is, finally. When you click it, you see that the controller compartment gets filled with mappings. Next, we are going to load the main preset. Door control. Observe the control surface on the top right of the screen. Something happened. We now have a typical door control setup. You can change volumes, arm tracks, the motorized faders move, the bank buttons work, the scrub wheel, all that stuff immediately works. Maybe you don't like how some of the things are mapped in the door control preset. Maybe you prefer to actually select tracks when changing the channels. You can change all of that by adjusting the mappings of this preset. We don't see any mappings so far because this preset is organized into mapping groups. Let's check what groups we have. That looks quite tidy. Now let's show all groups together. We have 140 mappings in this preset. If we have that many mappings, it can get hard to keep track. That's why Relearn offers some convenient ways to search and filter mappings, in addition to the grouping facility. You can search by mapping name, But you can also filter by source. So whenever you touch a control element, you see each connected mapping. I have another typical control surface device, the X-Touch 1. We can use the same two presets to make it work out of the box, because it also has a Mackie operation mode. As you can see, the displays are working as well. This is interesting. There are controller integration tools that are built just to support the Mackie control standard. Nothing else. And we learned the complete Mackie standard is nothing more than a preset. I think that gives you an idea of its power. And as always, if you don't like how something is mapped, you can change it. Nice, so we have covered the second way of working with Relearn, loading ready-made presets. Building and changing large and complex presets, such as the door control preset, is absolutely possible by clicking your way through the user interface. But it can get quite tedious and a lot of repetition. For example, all these channels, they have the same structure. And although Relearn offers a few ways to reduce the number of mappings, you will find that you still have to create a lot of mappings that look very similar. That's why Relearn offers a third way of building mappings, by writing text, in particular Lua code. This is the most powerful way to build Relearn setups and more efficient if the setups are complex. You will need a little bit of programming know-how to take advantage of this possibility, but getting started with that is probably easier than you think. 
because relearn can help you with it. If you have existing mappings, you can export them as Lua code. Let's try to export the complete door control mappings as Lua code. Click export to clipboard and then export main compartment as Lua. Paste it into a text editor of your choice, preferably one that has Lua syntax highlighting. I will use Visual Studio Code. Here we are. The result actually doesn't look like typical code. It looks more like a configuration file. But it is real Lua code. And it means you can introduce for loops, if statements, functions, whatever you think is useful to tame the complexity of your preset. The only important thing is that at the end, this script returns a Lua table, which has the same structure as this one. You can change that code and re-import it. We don't cover this in detail, but let's make at least a little test. We give one mapping another name. Hello world. Then we copy the complete text, go back to relearn and choose import from clipboard. Let's display all mappings. And that's it. The first mapping is now called hello world. Now we should know the basic principle and can start experimenting. In the next episode we will still cover a few remaining basic topics. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.